First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Well, we had numerous closings and cancellations this morning, and we've got a, a new batch running down at the bottom of your screen. In fact, we're going to leave that polar report up there for the rest of today and all through tonight as we're just now starting to get some closings for Tuesday. A lot of school systems deciding that they're not going to have classes tomorrow. So watch the bottom of your screen. You'll see a just in banner that will pop up ahead of that or on top of that uh, little list uh, listing down at the bottom of the screen. That'll let you know that that's a closing that has just come in. You can also see that at our web channel at WBKO.com and on our app. So if you have an iPhone or an Android phone, you can get the app, download it for free, or sign up for text alerts. And that way you'll know just as soon as we know about any cancellations or closings, even some uh, events and some businesses uh, listed there. So just pay attention to that. It all runs in alphabetical order. So let's get you caught up on the weather now. We're still seeing a few snow flurries flying around the area. And from time to time, we get a little bit of sun breaking through the overcast sky. And it's uh, just uh, taking just a little bit of sun energy to break through and then cause even more snow flurries to uh, happen. It's kind of a convective setup here, kind of like it is in the summertime. You just reverse the temperatures, of course, and the same kind of thing happens in the atmosphere. And so from time to time, when the sun comes out, it may look like, oh, everything's about to clear up, and then you'll get another little burst of snow flurry activity. It's not really going to add any accumulation to anything that's already out there, but it may provide another dusting in some cases across the area. Six degrees, the current mesonet site reading right now in Bowling Green, and you see around us anywhere from zero to minus one right now in Litchfield, and you see a five down in Burksville, a two up in Campbellsville. There's a four in Greenville, three in Madisonville, six in Elkton. Throw in the winds from the west and northwest at 20 to 25, and we've even had some 30 miles for our wind gust, well, that makes those temperatures feel even colder. It feels like it's 19 below zero right now in Litchfield, while it feels like it's 13 below in Franklin. 18 below is what it feels like in Calhoun. And up in Elizabethtown in Hardin County, the current wind chill factor makes it feel like it is 21 below zero. And here's what I'm talking about, the mix of sun and clouds. And from time to time, you can even look down the road and see snow flurries and then the sun comes back out. It's that kind of atmosphere where we still have enough uh, upper level energy with the moisture in play. And it's so cold that it only takes a little bit of moisture to form those little snow flurries. And so we're going to continue to see this from time to time through the afternoon and evening. Five degrees right now, but it feels like it's 14 with that northwest wind at 16 miles per hour. You're seeing a mostly sunny sky up in Munfordville with a temperature of 4, but it feels like 16 below at the moment. A temperature of 4, but it feels like 15 below in Greenville with the wind still whipping out of the northwest and occasionally cloudy with snow flurries. Same for Litchfield. It's minus 1 there, but it feels like it's 19 below zero. And in Franklin, you're at 5 degrees with a dusting of snow around the Simpson County Courthouse, and it feels like it is 13 below zero. 5 is the rating at the airport at this hour, while it's 12 with a snowpack on the ground in Indianapolis, minus or minus 12, I should say, minus 4 in St. Louis, 14 in Huntsville, Alabama, and even parts of northern Alabama got a dusting of snow, in some cases up to a half inch in others. 14 below zero is the current wind chill factor at the airport, but compare that to Indianapolis. Their current wind chill factor is almost 40 below zero at this hour. Same for Peoria, Illinois. St. Louis feels like it's 26 below zero there. Now we're rid of the main system except for little pieces of energy that continue to rotate on the backside of it. So we're going to see the flurries from time to time this afternoon and in through the early evening hours. But overnight, things should begin to improve as far as that's concerned. But the cold air, of course, is here for the rest of today. Tonight, the wind chill advisories will continue through the night and even through part of the day tomorrow, at least through tomorrow morning. But we are going to see a warm up over the next couple of days. 
days that Arctic blast moves on, we'll get more of a southerly wind flow in here starting especially Wednesday. And the latter half of the week and into the weekend, we're going to see a pronounced warm-up back into the 40s and 50s. But with that will come a series of disturbances and some chances for rain, as you'll see. Wind chill advisory still in effect today. Frostbite can happen out there. Any exposure over 30 minutes. And of course, the bitter and dangerous wind chills. Scattered flurries about six for a high. Minus two is what we're calling for an overnight low tonight with scattered flurries. Then tomorrow, despite the sunshine, only up to 14 for a high, but we rebound to 34 on Wednesday. By Wednesday night, another system comes in, and we could have some mixed precipitation late Wednesday night into early Thursday, but it should all go to rain during the day, 37. And there's your big warm-up for the weekend, highs in the 40s and 50s. We're back with more Midday Live in just a minute.